Hello and welcome to the NASCAR Wheel and Euro Series 2016 regular season review. For the first round of the year, the drivers went to Spain as part of the Valencia American Fest. Let's begin this review with the first Elite One race where Anthony Kempen started from Paul for the first time in his career. But the Belgian sees immediately Garcia attacking hard and taking the lead of the race in the number one car. Alan Bay took a good start, he's fourth behind Ferry Gabion. Turn lap 8, the leader Garcia ran a bit wide in turn 11, Kempen has a better exit, he tries to overtake the Spaniard and he's through, the 2014 champion is the new leader. A few laps later, Gabion does the same, Garcia locks his brakes and the Frenchman takes second place. The ADV competition driver closes on uh, Kempen but it's too short, the Belgian crosses the line first and scores his third Kaya win. Kempen, Gabion and Garcia spraying champagne on the podium. <laughs> Thanks to his fastest lap in race one, Alain Day starts from Paul ahead of Kempen and Gabion. The Israeli keeps his position in turn one ahead of Kempen. Let's ride on board with the Belgian. Further back in the pack, Laura and Dovic are side by side in turn four and they collide. Pretty bad start for them. Yeah, Eric Dodonkia wins the Chandra Trophy for the second time in a row, ahead of Jerry Devert and Willy Gruber. The safety team has removed the Chevy number six after his spin, four laps to go. Day is still leading ahead of Gabion, Garcia and Kempen, but in the pack, a crash occurs. Six cars are involved, the race finishes and a caution. Day wins the race while Kempen leaves Valencia with a two-point advantage over Alan Day and four over Garcia and Gabion. Salvador Tino Arroyo begins perfectly his 2016 season. He starts this first Elite 2 race of the year from Pont ahead of Longin, Malchrek and Ferrando. The battle for first begins from turn one between Stines Longin and Tino Arroyo. Let's go on board with them. The Legend Trophy, Eric Dodonka starts his 2016 campaign with a victory. A great first Elite 2 race of the season, Longin is pushing hard behind Tinerario and finds his way past in turn 2. He goes through and takes the lead in the ultimate lap. First win of the year for the Belgian ahead of Tinerario and Guillaume de Flandre. The PK car sport team is celebrating. First place for Longin ahead of Tinerario and de Flandre on the podium. Thanks to his fastest lap in race one, Longin starts from pole position ahead of the Flandre and Gardel. The pole man does a perfect start ahead of the two car racing drivers, Tino Arroyo and the Flandre. Both teammates are fighting hard for seconds behind Longin. In the rookie cup, Roman Mavlanov is leading a perfect debut in the NASCAR Wheel and Euro Series for the Russian, while Freddy Hunt is fighting against Marconi Dabru for seconds. Up front, the battle continues for seconds until the last lap. Tino Arroyo is ahead of the front, but the Belgian dies on the inside. The cars are side by side before the finish line. What an incredible finish between them. Tino Arroyo is ahead and will finish second for 33 thousandths of a second. Let's see the replay of the finish, a very close one. Two wins in two races, a clean sweep for Stines Longin, who is now leading the championship with an 11-point advantage over Tino Arroyo and 14 over the Flans. <laughs> Launched in 2009, the Will and Euro Series has belonged to the NASCAR family since 2012. A great opportunity for passionate drivers to take the wheel of powerful Chevrolet SS or Ford Mustang. I love the championship, it's fantastic. I really love uh, racing in, in NASCAR. I mean, the evolution is really good. For me, it's a very strong championship. It's a lot of very good driver. 
And also, I know some drivers from Formula, you know, it's for me, it's very interesting. I very enjoy it. It's a really good championship because there are a lot of talented drivers, very experimented, and we have the opportunity to move across Europe to visit famous race tracks. Yeah, there'll be some people, you know, back home watching. It's kind of kind of interesting for an American to come over and, and do this, you know, so it kind of makes a little bit of headlines over there. In addition to the several destinations around Europe, the work done by Anne and Jerome Galpin's Team FG is a delight for the competitors. This is our second full season. Uh, before we were in GT3 racing and historic, and this is by far the best organized championship I've ever been in. So we love it, yep. You know, I'm very like the organizations because it's uh, in this championship, it's like timetable, it's very good. Everything for the driver, you know, it's, everything is good. I'm very like, and organization is very pro professional and very nice. It's, it's back to basics. There's no electronics, there's no ABS, nothing to, to help you drive the car. And that's actually what, what I like. So this is a pure, pure driving, pure racing. For this second round of the 2016 NASCAR Wheel and Euro Series season, the Auto Speedway American style, teams and drivers went to an oval track, the Raceway Venray. The current championship leader, Stenis Longin, starts from pole position for the first time in his career. The Belgian is strong for this rolling start and immediately opens a gap over Hugo Beck and Salvador Tino Arroyo. For the next race, Caltrude puts pressure on Tineo Arroyo. After 20 laps, the leaders are catching up with the backmarkers. We are on board with Ferrando in fifth place. Longin and Caltrude go through, but Hugo Beck does a slight mistake and it's the wall. The Frenchman has to retire. The leader, Stines Longin, is cruising to his third win of the year. Ferrando is a good second, ahead of Keltrude and Tino Arroyo. With its win, Longin increases his point lead over Tino Arroyo and Martin Dubeck. Longin starts another time on pole position for this 60-lap race ahead of Ricardo Geltrude and Tino Arroyo. Both drivers are fighting for second. The Spaniard tries to take the inside line, but it doesn't work. This battle is intense between Tino Arroyo and Geltrude during the first 20 laps. The Spaniard is doing a maneuver a few laps later and is through. He takes second. In the Legend Trophy, Didier Beck is first ahead of Simone Loretti and Marco Spinelli. Fourth win in a row for Stines Longin, who dominated this race. Keltrude finishes second ahead of Ferrando Gardel and Tino Arroyo. Stines Longin is more than ever the title favorite. He keeps the lead in the general classification ahead of Tino Arroyo and Martin Dubeck. Time for the Edit 1 drivers to hit the track. Borja Garcia scored his first carrier pole ahead of Hercule, Kempen and Gabion. After a perfect start, Gianmarco Ercoli takes the lead ahead of Garcia, Gabion and Kempen. On board with Gabion, Garcia tries to take the lead over Hercoli. The drivers have to be careful in the traffic. Garcia is trapped, he goes on the inside. Gabion chooses the outside lane. He takes second place from Garcia. He's now just behind Ercoli. The race leader, Ercoli, is the first junior on track despite having lost his power steering. Ercoli is pushing hard, but he's still under pressure from Gabion. The Frenchman takes the inside line. 
and he's through. So does Kempen a few seconds later. Farid Gabian drops his first win of the season after a great fight and gives ADV competition its first ever NASCAR victory. Kempen congratulates Gabion in the victory lane. Thanks to his win, Gabion now leads the general classification ahead of Kempen and Garcia. For the second edit one race of the meeting, Kempen starts from pole thanks to his fastest lap in race one. He shares the front row with Gabion. Kempen does a good start, but Jean-Marc Quartacoli, the reigning Elite 2 champion, does an even better as he took second place for a fourth Elite 1 race. On board with Garcia, just behind Gabion. Jean-Marc Quartacoli is trying to close on Kempen. After 15 laps, the top six cars are opening a gap before the first caution. Willy Gruber spins in turn one and stays against the wall. The first drivers can't do anything to avoid the Australian. That's the first big one of the year. Perfect reaction from Renauer and Broca. We're getting away with it. All the drivers leave their cars and scattered. Another proof that the securities are as a priority for the organizers. Kempen is on the outside for the restart on lap 33. Akoli takes the inside line and it goes through. Both guys will suffer contact a few seconds later. Nice save for Akoli, who rejoins after a perfect 360. Last turn for Kempen, who wins for the second time in Venre. Garcia finishes second ahead of Barry Messen. After a fourth career win in Venre, Kempen has now an 8-point advantage over Gabion and 11 over Garcia. That's it for the first two meetings of the year. Thanks for watching and see you for the second part of the NASCAR Wheel & Euro Series regular season review.